This Let's Edit with Media Composer tutorial is brought to you by VideoGuys.com, the leading reseller of video editing and production equipment for more than 25 years. And by Boris Effects, a leading developer of visual effects, titling, video editing, and workflow tools and plugins for broadcast, post production, and film professionals. And by Rampant Design Tools, creators of QuickTime based style effects for video and designed to significantly enhance content for editors, visual effects artists, and motion graphic designers. Hey everyone, Kevin P. McAuliffe here and I am back again with another Let's Edit with Avid Media Composer tutorial and in this lesson I want to talk about another fantastic great free resource that you can use inside of your Media Composer timeline and it's directly related to one of our new sponsors, Rampant Design Tools. If you're not familiar with Rampant Design Tools, they offer fantastic quick time style elements that you can use inside of your projects so that you can create very cool looks very quickly and very easily. Now, a lot of people always want to try before they buy. So Rampant Design Tools has come up with a great idea to give you the ability to do just that. And what they've come up with is 4kfree.com. 4kfree.com is a great resource for you to use to download high-res 4K elements for you to use, whether it's in a 4K, 2K, or even just a regular HD project, to not only give you a sample of their product line, but to help take your project to the next level. Now, there's no watermarks on any of these elements or anything. They're basically drag, drop, and ready to go. Okay, now before we go on, I want to remind you that these tutorials are designed to get in and take a very in-depth look at very specific aspects of editing inside of Avid Media Composer. But sometimes you just need to get the information and get yourself up and running lightning fast. Well, if that's the case, head on over and check out my Mac Pro Video training series on Media Composer, where Lesson 1 will get you up and running in Media Composer in about an hour. Now, to get started working with these elements, you're going to need to head on over to your web browser and go to 4kfree.com. You're going to enter your full name and your email address. Now, what I want to point out is that by doing that, not only are you going to get access to these elements, you're also going to be signed up for the Rampant Design Tools newsletter. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, Kev, I get so much email. I don't need another newsletter. Trust me, just hold on to that thought. We're going to come back to it at the end, and I'm going to show you why you're definitely going to want to have this newsletter at your disposal. Now, once you've entered your name and your email address and you click here to download, you'll receive an email with a link to the actual 4K free download site that's going to look a little something like this. So what's going to happen when you navigate here is you'll be able to then scroll down and see all of the available elements that you'll be able to download. You'll be able to download film burns, designer overlays, studio flares, you know, film light, designer film clutter. And what's very cool is they've even put current products in here like their brand new gun effects in the visual effects category, boom, you have access to a few elements right in here. There's over 40 different elements. I, I believe this actually I was told between 40 and 100 different elements in 4K that you're going to be able to download and work with on your computer. Now, I also want to point out that these files are all Apple ProRes files, which is not a concern whether you're working on Mac and Windows, you'll be able to work with this. Whether you're working in Media Composer, maybe you want to work with them in Media Composer and After Effects, You've got the complete run of your product line with these great elements. So basically, all you're going to need to do is just to download all these elements onto your computer. Then what we're going to want to do is get into Media Composer and let me show you how you're going to get working with these elements. Now, these are 4K elements and you'll see that if I call it Media Info, I have some elements from some of the Rampant Design Tools element packs that these elements come from. And I'm just gonna take one of them, we'll just drag it in here. You'll see 4096 by 2160 at 23976 frames per second. So we're talking very big images now. What's great is depending on the size of the project that you're working on, let me just command and tab into Media Composer here. You'll see that I'm only working on a project that is 720p. So I could conceivably link to this media and I could resize it using frame flex so I can really focus in on the parts of the elements that I want to see. But for me, I'm actually really happy with the way that they look full frame. So to get these elements in, all we have to do is right click, we can say input, we can say link to media. I'm going to come to the desktop into the elements folder. I can just select them all. And literally in a matter of seconds, I'm gonna have all of these elements inside a media composer ready to work with. 
I can double click on any of them at any point. We can just come back and hit play. These are, of course, 4K playing back in real time in Media Composer. There we go. Now what I did just for the purposes of having them in here for later lessons is I've gone through and I've transcoded all of these clips down to 720p because for the purposes of this project, I'm not gonna need the elements to be any bigger. You'll see I have them all right here, looking very nice, okay? And I have a timeline here with some media in it. Now, this media here is courtesy of Edit Stock. If you remember back to the music video editing lessons that we did, the footage there was courtesy of Edit Stock as well. And Edit Stock just provides footage for you to work with and to practice and hone your skills with. And this parkour footage is actually perfect. And it's actually kind of begging for me to use some rampant design tools elements in it to spice it up, even though, let me just say, it's pretty exciting as it is. So how do we get in and work with these elements in our timeline? Well, let's come to our elements here and I'm just gonna pick one at random. It doesn't even really matter which one that I'm going to use. I'm gonna pick one of the shadow light ones. Let me just pick this element right here. There we go. Now, what's funny is I actually have this queued up to what's almost a natural edit point right there where the element is almost full frame and you'll see that even there, it could even be that frame there as well, but let's just go with it right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the element in right here starting at this edit point on video layer two. So let's just drop it in, and that's a little bit long. We're just gonna wanna have it till it disappears out of the frame right there, so we can sort of create what's gonna look like a very organic and natural transition. Now, we're gonna give a little bit of lead up with this element as well. And we'll start it right about, I think that's actually pretty good. Now you'll notice that the element isn't completely black, which is okay because this is a lighting element. But if I wanted to get in and make sure that this element was completely black, I could get in and just color correct it. We could just crush the blacks ever so slightly. And you know what, why don't we just do that? I'm just gonna come to Windows, I'm gonna come to Workspace, I'm just gonna come to the Color Correction Workspace, and let me just call up my waveform monitor here. And you'll see that the blacks are just slightly elevated again because this is a lighting element. All I'm gonna do is just set the setup to be about minus seven and there we go. This is now more so black. Now you're gonna see why we wanna do that in just a second. Okay, let's step out of color correction mode, just back into edit mode. And I now need to get in and I need to blend this element into my footage. Well, what's great about that is that we're now gonna talk a little bit about one of our other partner companies that have just come on board, Boris FX. Boris Effects offers a great effect inside of Media Composer that you can have access to transfer modes, which we're all familiar with from After Effects. It's something I use all the time, especially in After Effects, but now with the power of Boris Continuum Complete, I use them in Media Composer as well, especially in situations like this. This is one of those effects that if you're a Media Composer editor, I highly recommend you invest in because there's just so many different applications you're going to be able to use it with. What I'm gonna do is just call up the effects palette here. I'm gonna come down to BCC's key and blend category to the composite effect. I'm gonna take the composite effect. I'm going to drag it and drop it onto my footage. Now you'll notice that right away, the footage doesn't look that great. It looks a lot darker than it was before. Well, I'm just gonna step into effects mode and show you that the apply mode that's been used is a hard light apply mode, not what we want. In our case, because this is a lighting effect, I wanna go with an additive blend mode like that. Now what we can do is come back, press play, and you'll see now that there is our element, which creates a very cool transition right at the edit point. And what's very cool is if I'd like this to actually fill more of the frame, all I have to do is just copy this to the clipboard. We're just gonna double it up we're gonna hit play now, and now we're really getting a great full lighting effect across the whole screen, literally with a few clicks of the mouse. The great thing with these elements is that they're very versatile. Let me show you what I mean. I'm just gonna come and pick a different one here. Let's pick, um, let's just see, maybe we've got some beauty light here. Beauty light is a good one. Let's just take the beauty light effect. We're gonna take the whole element here, and I'm just gonna apply it over the end shot here with our parkour guy flipping over here. I'm just gonna drop it in like that. That's a little more than I'm gonna need, so we'll just make sure that we trim this down a little bit. And again, very subtle, because in a lot of cases, it's not what you see, it's really what you don't see. What the rampant design tools elements really are is like icing on the cake. You know, it's sort of the, the jam on the peanut butter, if you will, for your great looking footage. So again, we're just gonna take the same effect. I can even just copy it right off one of these elements right here. Drag and drop, boom, there it is. Let's come back, let's hit play, you'll see. It's a lot of just drag and drop and there we go. And you'll see 
The element was there a little bit. Let's just see if we can find, there we go. Let's just take it from about there. Now, how do we change this up? Very simple. We're just gonna edit this right into our layer, stepping inside of the rampant design tools element. Let's drop it in. Let's double click back on the effect again and come back and hit play. And there we go. Looking very nice, very subtle. And why don't we just end this off a little bit? Let's take some film flashes to end this off. And what we're going to do is because it starts on black, I'm going to start it right about there to give us a transition out. We don't want it to go too far, maybe even right to about there. And we'll give it a very short fade out here, maybe about five frames. We'll say add again. I'm just stepping back into effects mode. We're just grabbing the effect, drag and drop, nothing too fancy. Now I've got one, two, three effects on top. Eh, maybe I'll give it a bit of a render here. Just to make sure we're gonna get real time playback, we'll come back, we'll hit play, and boom, there we go. So you can see literally to spice your footage up, it just took, I don't know, what, a minute or two? Now, here's the best part, is that once you have all these elements in and you start taking a look and see how well they look, where you think they're gonna go well, you're gonna be creating elements that look something like this. Now this was something I put together in less than 10 minutes using the rampant design tools elements that I have in my system, here we go. Very cool. See, we have that natural transition, and then we have our transition out just like that. So I hope this lesson has shown you why 4kfree.com is a fantastic free resource that you're going to be able to use to download elements that you can use right away in your productions, no watermarks or anything like that. And with the power of Boris Continuum Complete's composite effect, you're going to be in and adding these elements to your footage using blend modes, literally in a matter of seconds. Now, something I do want to talk about before I wrap up, since we are talking about our new partners for our tutorials, and I did talk about Ramp and Design Tools and about how when you sign up for 4kfree.com, you're signed up for their newsletter. What's very important about their newsletter is not only the fact that they offer links to great training and free resources and things like that, but what they also have is they have great deals inside their newsletter. You'll see from a few weeks ago, their spring sale, save 50% off every order. You'll see that if I come down here, take a look at this, the new gun effects, save 50%. Let's keep coming down. Natural flares, 50%. You'll see all kinds of great deals here and staying signed up to that newsletter will keep you current as to not only the great training that they offer for free for all of their product lines, but more importantly, the great deals that they offer almost on a weekly basis. Now, as we're wrapping up, I want to remind you that if you're looking for great deals on Avid Media Composer software licenses, subscriptions, and upgrades, use coupon code MC101 for 5% off any purchase at videoguys.com. MC101 is going to be a coupon code that you're going to love because the great team at Boris FX is offering a 10% discount on BCC10 AVX or multi-host licenses, full or upgrades, again using the coupon code MC101. And finally, Rampant Design Tools is offering 25% off any non-discounted product they offer in their library, again, you guessed it, by using coupon code MC101. And finally, don't forget that if you have any questions, you have any comments, or you have any tutorial requests, you can send them to me at kevinpmcauliffe at gmail.com. This has been Kevin P. McAuliffe. Thanks a lot for watching.